Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to apply the user permission on my dynamic menu. So in my previous video I have shown you the panel for permission add in which you can select a user and then choose the permission for particular menu for the selected user. So we have inserted three permission for user user ID 1 that is knowledge. So let's move to code to display or to apply the permission. You can see that's the query to fetch the sub menu. So I have to join the permission table that is menu user access with some menu on menu ID. So for that inner join menu user access on menu user access dot submenu id equals to submenu dot submenu id and in where clause i'm going to pass the permission that is menu user access dot user permission is equals to true so now have a look at the query what we have done we are fetching the submenu that has been granted permission true and for the submenu, its display is going to be yes. And so we are, you know, displaying only those menu who's having permission true. So let me show you the database. In database, you can see we have submenu ID 1 that is set to true. Others are false. So let's refresh our front end and okay, it's giving uh, error so let's solve this error so it's coming because menu id is same in both of the tables so we need to differentiate that so let's refresh now you can see category list is opening in drop down and user list having no drop down because the only category list is having permission Till now, we have fetched the menu with permission set to true. But we need one more condition that is most important is user ID. To which user we have permission set to true. So I do not have any login system in my project right now. So you must be having a login system in your project and user ID stored in your session. So I'm just going to manually pass a user ID so you can pass the user ID stored in your session so I am just manually passing and defining a variable with login user equals to 1 and I am just passing this variable inside my query for the user condition so this condition will display only the menu that has been assigned to this user. Now one more thing you can do is just write one more query in which write select star from menu user access where menu id is the main menu ID and user permission is set to true. Um, execute the query and after that fetch the number of rows and check if any like the main menu is set any permission or not. So if if menu user access is greater than zero, then display the submenu and menu. So we have like user that having both of their drop down as false. So that should not be displayed, right? So that will this condition will help to you know solve that. So let's move to browser and refresh. There you can see only category is displayed. Now user menu is not there. So if you will again set the permission, select the user and 
set the permission and if i'll set user to true that is user list only to true so let's add and refresh there you can see now we have a user tab with user list so that's all for today in this video i have shown you how you can apply user permission according to user and and display that in menu so thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching